Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is part 3 of this video series. In the last part we just discussed with, uh, about uh, the SQL connection and in this video we are going to learn about uh, SQL commands. So before proceeding with the SQL commands, I have created a database a management system and created a table and in that table I put some records and if I query to that record I'll be getting some records like okay my connection is disconnected let's execute this select all from employee and you will see this record so what we are going to do we are going to use the SQL command object to retrieve this uh, data so how we are going to do that, we'll flip to the Visual Studio as we see in the last video that we can establish the connection uh, by using this SQL connection object. Now here we are going to write SQL command and as equals to new SQL command. New SQL command. Now you can see there are the few overloads for this and we this third overload it's saying uh, you can pass the CMD text and the connection object so here we have to pass a string and comma connection what is the connection SQL connection alright so here we will pass this query select all from employee and this x command is ready sql command is equals to new sql command here we are passing the query we can pass the store procedure as well but for now let's check this with this query and this is the sql connection the connection is open and here let's do var reader equals to sql command dot execute reader so if we check what is that it's like SQL data reader so SQL data reader is used to read the data from the database and we'll discuss this SQL data reader in the next video for now let's just write as syntax reader dot read And let's make it console dot write line reader zero. Let's check what it prints. You will see first it prints the connection is established and then one, two, three, four, five. What is this one, two, three, five? Maybe this because it's considering the employee ID as a zero column, so that might be the column one, two, three, and so on. So if I go there and make it like this, ID equals to reader zero comma name equals to reader one and let's check and print oh you can see this is fine correct working right so you notice that we use this execute reader here so this execute reader returns the multiple records so let's suppose if we want only one record, uh, not one record, one value from one record. So how can we do that? Like this is the query. If we execute this query, select a static from employee, we get a multiple records. But if I want something like this, select employee, and I want to show the count
of, of all employees. So how we can do that? We'll go there, stop it right now here, and we'll just paste, uh, better if we write the variable var query, Q -E -R -Y query equals to this. Okay. And let's remove this hard coded thing, replaced by the variable query. Now you see, this is not the, this, this query is telling us, okay, I'm not gonna return multiple record. This might be a single value and a scalar value, so we'll be changing this piece of code, like from here, var SQL command reader equals to command dot execute scalar. Now, if you come here to this reader, you will see it's an object reader, okay? And let's try to print it. What is it printing? It's telling me five, total five records. If I go there and execute, yes, it is fine. Let's add a clause where salary is greater than five, eight, zero, three, zero. And when the salary is greater than this. So I got three records like this. Let's go to this place. Stop it right here and check. So you will see the connection established and the value is three, which is right. So we discussed two things, execute reader that can return the multiple record, execute scalar that can return uh, only single value. Now the next thing we have execute non-query. Execute non-query is will be used when we, we will be uh, doing some insertion update or any kind of deletion. Uh, and uh, you can say this kind of command if you are doing insert, update and delete our query is inserting something into a database, updating or deleting any record. So we will not be using this execute scalar, execute reader. We will be using the execute non-query. So let's flip to there and make a query like this. And uh, let's take this query to copy and come to this side and change this query and you can see this query employee everything is there now change it to the six change to my name increase the salary to this and then you have to just come here and uh, change it execute non query and it will tell you that how many records have been inserted this execute non query will hold it it's integer let's check it yes it's telling us that one record has been inserted okay let's add more than one record Let's copy this, same like this syntax, copy this part, copy and add one more record. Let's make, actually I should have to add the identity when I'm adding this again and I'm changing my name as just adding two, so two, okay. Now let's make it eight. Make it it's three and three and let's stop. So the, this time we are going to add two records. So it should return us to execute one query. Oh, there's some error. We have to check it where. Oh, this site did not forget. Is it there? No. Oh yeah, comma, comma. I forgot. Let's check, you see, two records had been inserted more. Let's go to the Visual Studio, oh, sorry, SQL Server and check. 
okay the records are being really inserted or not yes you see so we discuss the three things with the sql command uh, execute reader execute scalar and the last is execute non query so i hope you like this video and it clears your concept and make some fundamentals if you really like this video like share subscribe i see you in the next video take care bye